Hey guys, it's Caroline. Thanks so much for tuning into the YouTube channel today. I'm so grateful that you're here. So today's workout is a floor bar video. This workout is perfect to do if you've hurt your foot or your ankle. It's a great low impact option if you're looking for something a little bit easier. And it's just a really good all around total body flow. As always, check with your doctor before starting this or any exercise routine. Honor your body and your injuries and just be mindful while you're moving. When you're ready to get started, lay all the way down onto your back. So you're going to come on down and hug your knees into your chest. Take a moment to take a nice deep inhale. And long exhale. I want to say thank you for showing up for you today. Take your hands by your side and extend your legs up in the air. With your legs up in the air, just shake your legs up. <sighs> I was a dancer and we used to do this right before we started any practice. It just loosens up the legs, it kind of feels silly, and you know, sometimes you just gotta feel silly to feel good. Good, and relax. Extend your legs out nice and straight and lengthen your arms over your head. Take a deep inhale, and exhale. From here, we're going to warm up the spine with roll-ups. So inhale, arms long. Exhale, arms up. Sit up all the way up tall. And lower all the way back down. Let's just do 10. So moving with your breath and your body. And lower. And watching your posture. Bringing your chin towards your chest, sitting up tall. And lowering on down. Ah, that feels nice. Here's four, three, and lower. Already you should feel your abs starting to warm up. And this might just feel really nice on your spine if you've been sitting for a long day. Or you've been injured and you haven't been moving as much as you're used to. Good, let's just try four more. Chin in, sit up tall. Lower down and relax. Three more in. Sit up tall. Lower down and lengthen. Two more. Chin in. Sit up tall. You're amazing. Lower and lengthen. Last time. And tall and lower and lengthen. Take your arms out by your sides into the second leg position. And you're just going to take one leg, lift it up, bend it in. Lengthen down. Reach up, bend in, and lengthen. We'll do 10 each side. And I want you to notice your abs working to support you here. So five and six. Oh, this feels really good, doesn't it? Seven, eight, so strong. Nine. Last one, 10, lengthen, switch sides. We kick, bend, reach. Kick, bend, reach. So you can point your foot if that feels comfortable to you. Keep it flexed if needed. This is five, just doing 10, six. My abs are working, that's for sure. And eight, two more, last one. Good, now from here, I want you to take your arms and lift them slightly off the floor. Let's do the same thing. So you kick, bend, reach. Just 10. Now with your arms off the floor, you'll feel your abs work even more. And six, seven, you're doing great. Eight, nine, and 10. Switch sides. We kick, bend, reach. So it's a little bit of a floor, bar, abs, arms combination. We're moving faster now. Last two. Last one. Lengthen your legs, bring your arms in, lengthen out. Bring them in and lengthen. Start to feel your abs work and out. Let's add a leg. So we'll go up and down. Little crunch. Lift up and down. Just 10. Reach. Feels good. Now you can make it graceful or not. It's up 
to you. Keep breathing. Let's try a few more. Coming up with the shoulder blades even higher. Four more and down. Three and down. Two more. Last two. And last one. Hold it here. Now we're going to reverse that kick. So you'll bend, reach, lower. Bend, reach, lower. Abs are working. Just 10 of these. Arms are off the floor. Good. Five more on this same leg. Four. I feel my inner thighs as well. Three, which is great. Last two. Last one. Good. Switch sides. Bend, reach, lengthen. Now, you might notice that you tend to bring your shoulders up into your ears. Try to lower them down and use excellent posture, even while you're laying on your back. Your abs are working. Here's five more. And down, four. Lower, three. Oh my gosh, two. It's a lot harder than it looks. Last one. Good. Lengthen. From here, we'll try that crunch again, but this time I want you to bend as you bring the arms in and out. So the leg is in an attitude. Bend in and out. Ready? Let's add the crunch. So we crunch and lower. Crunch and lower. Now, if this is hard on your neck at all, you can always bring your hands behind your head here. So do what you need to do to be comfortable. Remember, fitness is meant to make you feel good, not kind of achy or weird. So keep that in mind and lift and lower. I love floor bar. It's so much harder than it looks. Let's try a few more. And up and down. Last two. One more each side. You're doing great. Lift it up and down. Last one. Lift it up. Lower. Keep your arms off the floor. Shoulders down. I want you to reach one leg up. Reach the other leg up. Squeeze the heels together. Good. So wrap your thighs around and zipper up the inner thighs. So we're holding tight here. Now all I want you to do with your arms off the floor is lower a leg. Lift it up. Lower and lift. Going just for 10. Try to use those inner thighs. You'll notice with your arms off the floor that you feel more core. So if you need a break, you just place those arms right back down. All right, six more. Lower down and lift. Down and lift. We're getting so warm and working hard. Good job, just four. And... Three, use your legs. Two more, I'm proud of you, keep going. Last one. Good. Now hold the legs up there. Take your arms underneath your hips and you're just going to scissor the thighs in and out using the inner thighs. And I want you to slowly lower this, this exercise to the floor. So we're going down, two, three, four, lift it up. Two, three, use your legs, low to four. Three, two, one, lift for four. Three, two, again, four. Three, two, and one, lift for four. Three, two, you can try this or flex the feet, if that feels good to you. And up, whoo, lower. And lift, I'm kind of a ballerina, so I like to point. <laughs> Lower, it's up to you. Make it feel good, remember, and lift. Few more, lowering four, three, two, and one. Lifting four, three, two, and one. Lower four, three, two, and one. Your abs should be burning, amazing. Last two, and up. Okay, last one, you're doing great. And lift. Beautiful. From here, hug the knees into your chest. Good, and lengthen all the way out on the floor. 
Flex your feet, point your feet, take your arms to your side. We're coming all the way up, and then taking our hands back behind us. So I want you to roll your shoulders down and back, and we're just going to lift into a straight leg reverse plank. So you'll extend the body up, pushing the hips up into the air, roll the shoulders down and back, hold here. So try to keep your hips level. You'll lift one leg up and down, lift it up and down. Reach, reach, keep the chest open. There's a little bit unconventional floor bar this one. You should feel your hamstrings and your glutes start to work. Try not to let the hips drop, keep them lifted, four more. Oh, I love it, so good. Last three. Tall spine, last two. Last one. All right, lower it down, shake it out, separate your legs. So what always works for me on this exercise is flexing my feet and trying to imagine that I'm sitting up against a wall. You can always put your back against a wall to help you with that. Reach your arms up into the, the sky and drop your shoulders. From here, you're just going to come back, reach up, come back, reach up. So a little cord rub. <laughs> And lift, and back, and lift. Doing great, we go side, and up, and side, and up. We're almost there, reach it back. Not 10 reps of this exercise. Just five, so this is your last one. Good, and relax. So now you're going to separate your legs, and if you're on a mat, what works for me is one leg off the mat, one leg on and place one hand inside and one hand outside. So we'll do this next exercise three times. You're going to lift your body and scoot your bottom back. So you press down through the mat, and you come up and down, and lift, and down, use your arms, lift it up, and down, switch sides, so one leg on, one leg off, one hand in, one hand out, nice and strong, push it up, and down, and lift, and down, last one, lift it up, and down, good job, return your legs to center. Now I'd like you to cross one leg on top of the other. Good, nice, big, open arms, and what you'll do here is touch the arms outside the bottom leg, and then lower all the way down, arms back behind you. Scoop up, and touch, lower down, behind you. Lift up. So we're doing a side setup, crunching towards the oblique here. Lift it up and crunch. Good job. And down and down. This is five. Crunch. Oh, I love this exercise. It's secretly challenging. You look at it and you go, mm -hmm, that looks so hard. And then you do a few of them, it definitely gets hard. Let's just try four more. And three, I'm going to make this even more fun in two reps. Last two, promise. Here's your last one. Good. Now take it back up and hold. You'll twist your torso towards the bottom leg, lean backwards, and then reach your arms out. Now all I'd like you to do is reach the arms in a big V and come back. Keep the twist in the torso. Let's try ten. Here we go. One and down. Two, and down, feels good. Three, you should feel those obliques starting to fire. Five, six, I'm so proud of you. Seven, eight, just two more. Nine, and 10. Good, we're going to switch sides now, and I'm just going to switch so that you can see. You'll take bottom leg, cross the top leg over, sit up first with those long arms, and we twist towards the bottom leg. So you twist, and then go down, arms back behind you. Try that again. Up, twist, lower, down. Now we're just doing 10 reps of this, and then 10 reps of those arms to the diagonal. And guess what? Good news, we're only doing it once. So this would be four. So since you're only doing it once, unless you're playing this video two times today, <laughs> I want you to really give it all the quality 
all the energy and all the positive thoughts that you can. Good. Keep breathing. And down. Lift. Let's do three more. Last three. Woo! The stomach's getting the workout today. Last two. We will be working your bottom, I promise. Last one. Good. Lean back. Find your twist. Reach the arms, big V for 10. So we go one and down, two and down. Good, three and four, five. Good job, you're almost there. Six, seven and eight, nine. Here's your last one, 10. Beautiful, sit up nice and tall, separate the legs. And remember the swish to the side, you've got five reps. This is your last time five reps flexing the feet. We go down and up. So sometimes I like to mix up my choreography for you. Keep you on your toes. So you don't always know what to expect, which is good because then you're working out your brain, not just your body. Good, just two more, let the arms move. Last one here. Oh, that feels so good. Nice job. So now we're going to try that reverse plank one more time. And if you need to, you can bring your feet flat and come into a bridge. So I'll show you what that looks like. We'll reach up, shoulders back, so reverse plank. And you're either here or straight legs long. So you decide. And now we're just going to lift one leg up and down. Two. So I'll try the bent knee version on the second side. And lift. You can point or flex, it's totally your choice. You should start to feel the backs of your legs working. Keep those shoulders open. Reach it out and lift. Feeling my glutes already fired, thank you very much. You know what they say, strong bottom, strong life. I think it's true. Reach and reach, we're almost there. Last four and four. Last three, and three, remember you can also be here, two, and two, last one, and one, ha, feels nice, separate the legs, you might remember this one, one hand inside, one hand outside, three times pick yourself up, so you use your abs, and down, use your abs, and down, last time, use your abs, and down, that one's really hard, let's do the other side, use it up, and up, last two, and last one. Whew, nice job. I want you to lay onto your side. So get comfortable laying all the way down onto your mat. Hand behind your head. You want your feet at the front of your mat, the butt at the back of your mat. Use your top arm in front of you and pull your tummy in strong. By the way, you're amazing and you're doing a great job. So lift the top leg up, and I want you to engage your stomach as we go forward and back. Forward and back. So some people think that this exercise creates lean thighs. It actually just helps you stretch and open that hip joint. And even if you've been recovering from an injury or you've been traveling or sitting a lot, this will just help you loosen things up so that you can move better in your life. Let's just try four and back, three and back, two more, two and back, last one, one and back. Bring it down. Now you're going to kick up, flex down, kick, flex. Make sure your upper body isn't wobbling all over the mat here. Super important for you to stay strong in your stomach as well as work those hips and thighs. And reach. Down, you're doing great. You just got three more. Reach it up, lengthen it down. Two and one. Now lift the leg up. We're going to kick it forward, bring it in, stretch it back ten times. Forward, bend, stretch. This one I always feel in my glutes, <laughs> especially after everything we've been doing in this video. You might be feeling that too. You'll have to leave me a comment. Let me know. Reach, bend, kick. And it just feels so good to move your legs like this. 
Oh wow, four more. And three. Good, two. And one. And lengthen. Now, I just want you to lift the leg up. You can flex it point, you're just gonna circle. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reverse, it's 10. Nine, eight, seven, little circle, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest the top leg, extend your bottom arm, reach your top arm over your head. So now we're doing a four part side sit up. It looks something like this. We'll reach side, do a half sit up, touch the heels, go back down side, and then go over. Make sure you don't fall off your mat. <laughs> so what do you do? You go up, touch, down, and over. Let's try 10, up, touch. And once you kind of get the hang of it, it becomes this really fluid, beautiful movement that feels nice in the stomach and allows you to also stretch that lat, that side body, and maybe even get a little bonus butt massage for that lower butt cheek. Bonuses are good. And down, and lift, and down, we're almost there. Last three, and lower. Last two, I feel my waist. Working it out. Last one. Good. Take it up and hold. You're here. Pulse it 10 times. Pulse it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lay all the way back down and we'll switch to the other side. To do that, you're going to lay on your belly, make a pillow for your head with your hands, lift your legs out of the water, and then I just want you to clap your heels. So we're going to be, we'll be 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, a little bit bigger. So mats with, together, together, 3, 4, lift them higher, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Good. You can sit back on your heels. Take a little stretch. Take a moment to say that you're doing a good job, that you're proud of yourself, that you love yourself. And we'll switch sides. So you're going to lay onto your side. I love floor bar. So good. And then extend. Legs long. Feet at the front of the mat. Butt at the back of the mat. Hand in front to support you. Stomach in strong. So you'll lift your top leg up and we're going to swing it forward and back 10 times. So it goes forward, back. And this one's nice because sometimes after a long day of sitting, it just kind of feels like your whole spine has become condensed. So you can stretch and lengthen things out and just let everything get back to life. Good. Three more. Three. And two. And one, good, heels together, kick it up. So you go up, flex down, and kick, flex. Now you might notice that one side feels stronger than the other. For me, my left side is so much stronger than my right. So floor bar kind of helps me connect to that and understand my body a little bit better. I'm trying to fix those imbalances. And three more, you're doing great, last two, and last one. Good. Lengthen the leg long. We kick it forward. Bend in. Stretch it back. Forward. Bend. Stretch. And forward. Bend. Stretch. You should feel your hips here. Here's five. So we're just doing ten. Unless you have plans to do this video two times through. Feels good to lengthen your legs, doesn't it? Good. Last three. Two more. Then we do the circles. Exciting news. <laughs> Last one. All right. So lengthen your leg out. We're holding above the heel. Circle. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Hips are on fire. Five. Four. Three. Two. Reverse. It's ten. Nine. Eight. 
seven, good job, six, five, oh my gosh, four, three, two, and one, relax. So let's try that side sit up again. You'll extend your top arm over your head, lengthen as long as you can. And from here, you're just going to come up, touch the heel, come down, and relax. Let's try 10, so it's up. Touch, down, lengthen, lift. So this one kind of takes some time. It's like riding a bike. Once you understand it and you get it in your body, it makes sense. So you might have to, you know, try this video a few times to get it into your system to make it feel really good. Lift. Good. And lift. You've got four more. Lifting up. And down. And three. And down. Last two. Lift. And down. Last one. Good, let's take it up and hold. So you'll take it up here, hold the heel, and just give me a little pulse. It's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! Lay on your side. Let's try those four beats one more time. So you make a pillow for your head with your hands, you extend your legs, you lift your legs up, and you're going to be for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, a little bigger. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit back, child's pose. Take a deep inhale. Long exhale. So just a few more things for the buns and the hips that I've got planned for you today. So let's take it to a tabletop position with your knees under your hips and your hands underneath your shoulders. And you're just going to extend one leg back straight. Keep a nice long spine and we'll kick it up towards the sky. So we go 20, 19. This is really good for firing up those glutes. Make sure your stomach is strong so you don't dip into that lower back. Lift and lift. You've just got 10, 9, Eight, seven, I know, six, five, four. It really starts to work. Last two, and one. Now bring your knee in, fire hydrant. So we go out to the side and in. So yes, fire hydrant, like dog and fire hydrant. Really classy name. <laughs> Here's six, seven, eight, so good, nine. You've got 10 more, so we'll do 20 reps of each of these exercises, seven, six, and five, four, so good, three, two. Now check it out, so we're going out and then up to the sky, out and up. Here's three. So these lower body exercises, if you have a foot or ankle injury and you're cleared by your doctor, should be good for you to do but make sure it feels right for your body. If you're not coming back from an injury, these are still really good for you to do. They'll help you strengthen your buns and your hips and just love life. <laughs> Here's eight, I know right now it's starting to burn. And lift, and 10, can you do 10 more? Absolutely, last 10. And up, and nine, I know. Try to keep your stomach in, because you don't want to go into your lower back, okay? So just be mindful that you're coming from the bottom hamstrings, not dipping into that lower back. And up, and lift, and up. Oh my gosh, hips on fire. And lift, and up, oh my, we've got four. And three, I know. Last two, so good. Last one, amazing. Good, and then lengthen it long, extend your opposite arm and hold. Shoulders down. You should feel everything starting to light up for you. Breathe. So proud of you. Good, and rest. So sit back into your heels, take a child's pose. We do need to do the other side. So I'm gonna turn so you can see what's going on with the legs. 
So we go shoulders over wrists, knees over hips. You're going to extend that back leg back straight, tummy tight, smile on, ready to rock, 20, up, and two. So it took me a long time actually to figure out that I was hypermobile. So sometimes for me, doing a smaller range of motion is more powerful um, and really helps me see the results. So I just want you to think about what your body needs and how you can get the best bang for your buck and feel strong. So, oh, we've got a few more. Six, sometimes doing these against a mirror can be really helpful because you can watch the form. And three, just two more. Last one. Okay, bring the knee in. Let's dog and fire head. You ready? We go out and in. So 20 reps of each. If it's, you know, hurt, painful on your wrists, you can try fists for wrists. Or you can do this on your forearms, okay? So you can play around with that to make it feel really good for you. Right now, my hips are feeling really happy and alive. My hips are alive. Nine, eight, seven, so good. Six, you know the combination is coming. In four, three, two, okay, here we go. So we go side and press. Now, this one, sometimes if you flex your foot, you get an extra bonus in your hamstrings. So, see how that feels on your body. See if it feels good. See if you notice a change. Keep your stomach strong. Woo! This is a really good video. My, my butt loves you. Thank you. Six. Thank goodness for this YouTube channel. You guys bring me so much positive community. I'm so grateful for you. So, again, thank you for tuning in. Because not only does my butt love you, I love you too. Okay. We're almost halfway. Can you believe it? Probably. <laughs> 10. And up. And 9. And lift. Oh my gosh, stomach strong. I hope you feel this everywhere. I hope you're still smiling though. You know what they say, smiling is very advanced. Lift. And up. We're so close. Let's just take four more reps. And reach, and three, and reach, two more. Whew, last one. Well, that was amazing. Good job. Sit yourself back into a child's pose. Take a deep breath, inhale, and a long breath out, exhale. Good, come up, and then let's come back to your back. So we're not done just quite yet. We're going to move into a little bit of ab work and then a little bit of stretching to finish. So take your hands underneath your bottom and scoop your stomach in. Now we're going to hold here, extend arms long. You can stay or one leg comes up and other leg comes up, hold. Amazing. Hold. Just breathe, try to lengthen. Stay or arms up, hold. Lower all the way down. Nice job. Bring your legs in. Give yourself a hug. You can shake out those legs. Take your hands behind your head. And we're just going to scoop the shoulders up off the mat and stop. From here, you're going to reach one leg out nice and long and switch. Switch. So I actually have your hands behind your head here to give your neck a little bit of support. If you'd like, you can take the long arms long. That might feel a little bit harder, but sometimes it's nice just to hold the head so that your neck doesn't overwork. So reach, 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 reach. Legs are long. Three, and two, and one. Good, lengthen all the way down, straight arms, straight legs. Scoop your stomach in, bring the arms up, come back up to that V-sit and hold. So you can be here or here. Okay, so whatever is um, it's tighter in your quads, maybe try bending the legs or extending. Oh my gosh, so hard. I'm definitely wobbling. And lower all the way back down. Bring the knees in, shake it up. Take your hands behind your head. Scoop your legs up. Good, now lift straight legs in the air. Keep the head behind, or excuse me, the hands behind the head. One leg drops down and switch. Two, three, Four, try to use your core. Five, 
Six legs are long. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good job. Bring your knees in and take a break. You're going to extend both legs up. Screw the inner thighs in and around. Squeeze your thighs together. Now you can stay here. We're going to lower both straight legs down and up. Or you can take your hands behind your head and scoop your shoulders off the floor. Your choice. Ten reps. We lower down for two. Lift it up for two. Down. And lift. And down. Sometimes I like to play around and I'll try both. So I'll do hands behind the head or neck down. To be honest, I actually feel a lot when my head's on the floor. It gives me bonus abs. Bonus. We're just cool. And lift. Last five. And up. And four. And up. Three. And up. Two more. Two. And up. Last one. Good. Bring your knees in. Give yourself a break. We have one more ab exercise to go. Maybe. No, one more. It's called the bicycle, and you know it, and it's in floor bar today, too. So scoop yourself up. You're going to extend one leg straight, and we're just going to do a bicycle where you pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, and pulse. Breathe in. Try to make this in your abs, not your neck. Super important. So suck. And side, side, and side. Oh, I love the bicycle. Never been told in this place, in this house of mine. And side. You've got three more each side, and two more each side. Last one. Good. And let's bring it back to center and lower it down. We're going to finish with one more V set. So we extend our arms and legs long on the mat. Scoop your stomach again. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Chin comes in. Reach your way up and V set hold. Try to think long. Lengthen, 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 lengthen. And relax. Lay all the way down the floor. Lengthen long. <sighs> Breathe. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Good. Put your one leg down the floor. Grab hold behind the other leg and extend it up towards the sky. You're going to flex and point so we're cooling down. Just starting to let the body stretch and relax. Getting some movement into the feet and ankles. And eight. Nine. Ten, good circles. Ten, nine, eight, just move. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, other way. Circle ten, nine, eight, seven, keep breathing. Five, and then go up, snap, crack, a pop. Three, two, and one. Good, bend and switch. Other leg goes up. And you point, flex. This is a really good ankle warm up if you are a dancer. It's also good rehab if you're coming back from an injury. I've been coming back from a foot tendonitis and I need to do some foot and ankle strengthening to help myself heal. So this is on the, on the list. And two, and then one, let's circle. One, two, three, four, Five, six, other way. Oh, sorry. Two, ten, three. There, now other way. Ten. I got excited. That's normal. All right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Then we're going to end just the way we started. Lengthen legs up. Shake out the legs. Notice how you feel. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your knees in. Roll to one side. Sit up nice and tall. And you're just going to take one leg out in front of you and one leg behind you. We'll do one more stretch today. 
So you've got 90 degrees with the front leg, 90 degrees with the back leg. I want you to grab hold of your calf and reach your opposite arm up. Inhale, exhale, over. So I just want to say that you are the reason I continue to love to film videos for YouTube. I've met a lot of amazing YouTube subscribers over the years, and meeting you has brought even more um, purpose behind this channel. So that is really cool. Reach it up. Take this top arm down to the side, other arm lifts. Now this is kind of a twist, check it out. This arm is going to twist, but you get a nice spine stretch here. Take a deep breath in, long breath out. Come back to center, I love that stretch. And then return. Let's switch to the other side. So you're gonna swing your legs around, you've got 90 degrees, and you'll take the Back arm on the back calf, opposite arm up, reach, and then tilt over. For some reason, in my mind, this feels like a little mermaid stretch. So, if you want to call it that, awesome. I will join you. Nice and tall. Good. Come back to center, one hand down, reach up, and twist. Oh, get in that spine. This is great. Take a moment, take a breath. Bring it back up. Return. Let's take a butterfly stretch to finish, so soles the feet together. As you take a moment sitting up nice and tall, I want you to notice how you feel. I truly believe that exercise is one of the main ingredients to having energy and living a beautiful life. And even if you're you know, stressed at work or moving through an injury, there's always a way to find exercise that helps you feel better mentally and physically. So I hope that this video helped give you a little bit of positivity throughout your day. I want to thank you so, so much for joining me and for subscribing to my channel. You are the reason that I love my job. So if you liked this video, please click like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with all of your friends. I love, love sharing workouts with you online, and I'll see you again soon at carolinejordanfitness.com.